Okay, so <laughs> I know how they are, you know, you say something and you know automatically the slave master go chop chop.
Oh, her back. It's right here. Look, it's like they give you the data, they say unlimited data, but they give it to you like this. Like a little drop. I think that's what it is too, you know. Why don't they just give us the whole data? You know? Is that a train? There's something. I'm going to be back. <laughs> I'm like, gotta hold it, open it, like, and it's so ghetto. <laughs> like, come on. The Empire State. I live in the Empire State. What do you mean the other state look like? I don't know. So, <clears throat> mm. and it's disrupted. <laughs> I think that's, that's like I don't know. It's a scam. But they charge money. Probably millions and millions of dollars to taxpayers. No wonder nobody wants no social programs. Oh yeah, I was like, I saw the, the thing. So I, I was walking and I see um, a, a jeep going backwards, like in reverse, for a second. Sorry, for a second I was bugging because I'm like, oh my god, I was like, I didn't smoke nothing, like, and it was like, it was in the, I guess in the trailer top, something, like one of those, but it didn't have the, the cage, the, or whatever, you know, <clears throat> so it didn't look like, because it was fast, it was fast driving backwards, it's like, I feel like, I was getting transported to whatever. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. What happened to the sun? Been too late. So now I know right now. One o'clock. The sun is gone. You put the table. I'm about to open a new park in by my house. It's the same park, you know, where the Dykeman tournament is. I was in the table. Is everyone wanting to play with the Dykeman? They got their own tables. But <laughs> anyway, they're gonna be there. Hmm. And everybody's showing the same video. Every time something like that happened, <clears throat> like yesterday, some warehouse in Chicago caught, caught fire. Except for one, two. Got a different angle. Same video. I was like, what the hell? It looked like pink and gray. Thick, thick smoke. I was like, oh my god, these people are gonna die. I mean, they're already sick. You know, my aunt, where I first stayed when I came in 1989, she was like in front of one of these chemical things. They had the, the torches. The smell was nasty. I can only imagine what they had in those warehouses. They didn't say nothing about evacuations. Nothing. And the same thing with um, New Hampshire. And, uh, 
same video. Mount Washington. They look nasty. Look. Nobody talking about it. There we go. Again, I had up. I had to dig it up and get up on. Get up on. I mean, I'm happy. Glad I have it at least. You know. I never used to have one of them. That's why I canceled my 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 Magic Jack. They sent me an email. Now they want to charge me twenty five dollars. I got all getting really bad.
came back. I've not live streamed since I don't know when. You know, this is like <laughs> my drug of choice. You know, I think I already told the therapist. I don't know if you have anything to say about that. <laughs> you just look at me, you know. I like him because he's not too much with the bullshits, you know. Because he seemed like, I mean, he seemed from to be from Asia. He seemed to be from Asia to be, I don't know, it's like a mysterious guy. It's cover up, he got a burka. No, he don't got a burka, he got a mask. He's muscled up. And uh, could be India, could be Bangladesh, I don't know, he don't want to say. <laughs> it's like, damn, the, the roles are reversing. Men are getting so withdrawn. And that's just the way they are. That's just the way they come out there. I don't think they're acting. They just don't want to, like, they don't, you know. I mean, which is good, you know, like, but, uh, I don't know. I remember kind of like, it wasn't like that. Men used to be more, more risk takers. No, I don't, I don't see, which is good, I mean, like, you know, peace and quiet, but now, like, women are, I don't like that, I really don't like that, you know, so, I don't know why I mentioned him. Uh, it's a good excuse to get out of my house. It's only half an hour session. Half an hour session. And I'm sure they're charging Medicaid at least $150. I don't know, maybe Medicaid got a good deal. I don't know. A hundred. It's a lot of money. I'm therapy, but I feel better because, you know, I feel like I get some linkage, right, to care. That's what they call it, that linkage to care. I feel like if anything happened to me or whatever, I can, you know, if it's asking to write a letter or something, you know me, something. I don't know. I don't know how people, you know, you, you're not from around here. I don't know. If you don't have a network, I got a really good driver, really nice driver from Ghana this morning. He, he had his face mask. I'm shocked. So, well, he said he found this up with a lot of allergies. You know, like, yeah, that should make him better. That should make him better. I told you, you're not letting your immune system do its thing. You're doing it for a you know, the immune system is supposed to protect you. But now you're going to get a lazy immune system because you are like... I don't know. But it's just like so unnatural to see people like still like that. That's New York City. The land of the, the city of the... Cuckoos. The cuckoo's nest. This is this is the place, you know, where, where you see a lot of insanity. Insanity. Oh yeah, I was telling you before I got cut off. Um, so I was live streaming, you know, I say like I felt like it, you know, I felt like I wanted to to process, you know, what had happened during class. What is this thing? Um, I wanted to process that. I just started, like, live streaming. And, like, an hour later, like, I was like, oh, let me check if I'm going to stream. I was 
live streaming without any sound. I'm like, come on, I remember, you know, because I used to live stream every day years ago from my house. I remember it wouldn't let you live stream if the check wasn't right. It was like, it would tell you, oh, you know, the audio, we don't detect audio, we don't detect the camera or whatever, you know? And I still was like talking because it, it was, it was like, I felt like to, to I had to process and, and it was a lot. I mean, I don't think I, I'm not sure I can do it in the street. I don't know. We'll see if it come back again. I'm not sure if it's going to come back again. I don't know, whatever it is, but I had a good, I had a good session, you know, even when, I mean, the video is there, but I can only see, I can only see moving my, my lips. Somebody jogging naked, naked. See? Yeah. I mean, Friday and Saturday, people was like booty shorts, jogging, stream. I felt like I was going to die. My lungs were shutting down. That's how cold it was. So I'm not for the cold. I'm like immediately, I'm like, oh God, please don't let it. Like, I mean, Literally, I went, um, well, I got a bagel, you know, I wanted to, so I get anxious and then I'm too early, so I got, I got a bagel and I went to this bagel shop on 6th Avenue and, um, it, it, you know, and I was ranting over there, but the, I forgot the cell phone and then this thing was already messed up, mysteriously. I got it set up to save all the videos in my SD card, which got at least a hundred gigabytes of space. Nothing. Whatever. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be, but uh, I was talking really loud, so all the crackers started getting really nervous. Some of them started getting off the table. I was like, yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, and, I mean, just listening to my voice, hearing my voice, it's like, they are ready to fly up. There's an alien here. <laughs> I much rather have that. I much rather have that than when they try to, to flirt and they try to fuck you in my helmet. I'd rather be hated or <clears throat> whatever. I mean, I say that, right? No, I think I mean it. I think I mean it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not anyway. Especially couples. Neanderthal couples. Oh my god. That should happen already several times with trading tools. And they start talking loud. They start getting flirty. I mean, towards themselves, you know, like. But I know it's like. You know, you know what it is when people are acting really weird. You know, like. <clears throat> and yes, I hope. Um, Hallucinating. I hope I listen to it. I, I don't mind, you know, but I'm like, hmm. And especially when, when you're, you're online, you know, you want to pay, and like, and you have to, like, see that. And, and this, these are, these are lesbian couples. Yeah, there's a man and a woman, you know, but, um, it's, um, you see the guy. You should see the guy. Especially like in the summertime, it's like booty shorts. And I don't know how we can have those relationships. I really don't. I don't know what we're taking the picture for. But so <clears throat> I'm I'm. Um, You know, I'm just, just, um, minding my business and 
next thing you know, like, they keep crossing your path, right? It's like, how can you cross my path so many times in a little store? Because they're small stores, you know, they're not, uh, you know, they don't have big stores. The supermarket is so crowded. So, oh my God, I thought I was going to be a little bit more coherent. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be a little bit more coherent. No, I'm not. It's just, it's just winter is, is hard. Winter is tough. Don't let them tell you otherwise because it's going to make a new part. I don't know. Sticking pictures to the benches. Supposedly. Looking at this building, it looks like it's an old building, but I have never seen it. They're making so many skinny buildings. And I think it's on purpose, you know, trying to do like, well, they call it obelisk. You know, the, the phallus of uh, Asur. I think that kind of do with it, something with it because I guess I guess it's safe. I don't know to, to make them like that, but you know, they're getting too many. The other day, you know, when I went to yoga, I'm like looking. At them. They're so like like this one right here. They look old. If I can go closer, it look like um, gothic. Is that what building is that? Mm -hmm. Or is it <laughs> like I stop looking and I start wondering? I'm gonna look it up later on the video. See if the detail come out. They don't have binoculars. I mean, I'm not sure they sell them too, but I don't see nobody. Well, only at the beach. I don't know what they're doing. Because I go to another beach and like whatever. I'm like, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I'm like, what are you gonna do? I'm like, there's really not much we can do unless the government give a culture of, you know, like, hey, you know, people got the right to be, you know, I mean, it's not legal to be topless anywhere in New York City, but nobody, nobody do that. Nobody do that anyway. Only in that beach. And uh, Sandy Hook, New Jersey. But well, that's uh, a camp. That's like that movie's camp. So, what time is it? Oh, I think that I'm going to start going. No, five more minutes. Too early. I feel like a club where lately I've been <laughs> going to these kind of places. And I got a video with this, this, this one from like back and forth, back and forth.
you've been raking, it's called raking, right? Racking, raking the leaves, you know, in that direction, in front of the, the phone. And then coming with the hair dryer, whatever that thing, the blow dryer. And blowing the leaves back to the other side. <laughs> Which is crazy. I didn't say nothing. Like I didn't move because I know how they are. I know how they are. I say, tell me where. I'm like, oh, no, 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 the leaves, whatever, whatever. I take the leaves every time. very emotional because you know, it was like <clears throat> I felt so crippled, you know, especially because of the like, cold weather. Oh, no, that was on Friday. On Friday, I, I, I took a spot next to the window. So it was like if there was no windows at all. I started getting cramps over here. And, um, once again, the, the teacher was in a good mood, I guess. I mean, he saw what happened. And actually, he was trying to do some exercises for that, and it did help. It did help, but, you know, <clears throat> I got a little better, but now I know. You know, next time I come in, I'm like, stay away from the windows. Stay away from the windows. It's like, am I the only one? <laughs> like, for real? I mean, I was... Later, I found out it's like, oh, it's a, it's a minus 110 degrees in New Hampshire. No wonder. No warnings, no alerts, no nothing. I think I saw one, like I say, well, if you see somebody, you know, homeless, they will call 911, ask them to pick them up. I saw a couple. On Saturday, I was like, nobody told me something like that's, that's just crazy, you know. But they, they, I feel like they should have given a warning because if I had a warning, like, you know, hey, you know, there's this, I think like one person call it a vortex. I don't know what it was. It just, it just said it's like, Oh no, minus 110 degree wind chill. But what was it? What was it? I mean, it was just like... <clears throat> oh, I read one article, I think it was on Yahoo. They say it was the, the, the layers of the atmosphere, whatever, that somehow collide. And, and I don't know. And they say that the other layer you can smell it because it smell like bleach so one layer of supposedly I mean I don't that's exactly what they want us to, to be like to be in a situation where we don't have any idea you know what to do what to believe because there's so much you guys are not cold Anybody got their coat open? I'm freezing. I'm freezing. What time is it? This is so weird because they're like you make it seem like historic. Historic record low temperatures registered because that's supposed to be a uh, observatory or something. And they say they never registered. 
those kind of wheelchairs. I saw somebody posted a screenshot of, uh, you know, I said, uh, it feel like, I think it was minus 19, or 19, but it felt minus 60, minus 60 windshield. I never seen that. I mean, thank God, thank God, I always freak out if I see, and that's a big difference. I always see like 15, 20, 25, most. It's rare that you see the wind chill. You know, that was a big difference. So what, what is that, a uh, 40? 40 degree difference between the temperature and the wind chill? I guess I call it wind chill because it only feels like that when it's windy. Uh, Chicago is always windy. A lot of the places are always windy around here. Sometimes we we get like Chicago over here. So. Last year, I think they went almost like a hundred. That's just so scary because any street sign, anything, I'm just. So, like, you know, I realize that I hate uh, all these people with this attitude. That's one of the things that I hated the most when they soon, 1989, that I arrived in the United States. It was like, everybody talking with such authority as if they actually got a clue what they're saying. I know that's just the way it is. That's just, that's just, the, that's just the way it is. You know, like, I see all the immigrants go to the bodega and, and just throw the money at the counter. Like, oh, you gotta, you gotta be very assertive. I know that's a New York thing, you know that. But it's just like, come on. Come on. It is so annoying, especially when you are like, I don't know how they say that in English. You know, like the like the like the donkeys. The donkeys they go like Yeah. When people are talking like a donkey and with such authority and, um, I I heard a song the other day on one of the internet radios from the eighties. Um, I think it was uh, Expose or whatever. I think it was like that or Sweet Sensation. One of the, the girl bands. And, <clears throat> you know, I remember I remember I used to hang out with this lesbian. I don't know how. I don't remember how we met. Like, I was, I don't remember a lot of things already. <laughs> because it's too much going around. So... And again, and I just remember that she was like, oh, I remember that she, I did, because she got a, I don't think it was hers, it was her mother, so father's, I don't know. She got a humongous SUV. We was in the suburbs sometimes. She was like running errands. And I just remember that, that, that she looked like, she was like, I was like, what, 23, 24? She must have been like the same age or, or younger. But it's like, my cousins, my cousins in Chicago, they're like, <coughs> they talk like, as a matter of fact. 
everything they talk is matter of fact. Matter of fact. I was like... And, you know, us Mexicans, we like... If we don't know exactly what it is, we don't. I mean, I see now, which that's another thing I wanted to talk about, you know, I don't go to spaces no more. I'm not into, into spaces, wasting my time, it's like so much pushback. Because all I like to talk is about race, That's all I like to talk about. And uh, so they all get triggered, and I'm like, that's none of my business. And they are grown ups. They're all, we're all about the same age late 40s, uh, 50s, 60s. So that's not my problem. I don't, I don't, I don't see it like that, so, but, people, like, immediately, that they want to, like, oh, you know, just, just, uh, it's a pushback, it's like, they try to make it, like, like, that is normal, shit ain't normal, nobody should be, like, talking, like, you know, always, 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 especially they don't know shit about it. Because they're trying to push back and like, okay, so you don't know what I'm talking about. You got no idea. And, and then like at the beginning, I, I was like, see, the sanitation work is, it's a nasty ass attitude. I'm staring at me. to be a sanitation worker. I'm so happy to be working for our slave master. But I'm going right back home. No time to be wandering around. <laughs> Look at my, my coffee. I'd like to get out, but uh, then I start feeling like wheezy inside my chest. And she gets scary. Um, yeah, I mean, I just hate that attitude, you know, next time, I was going into Mexico to, I mean, like, um, I'm like, you know, what is the point of, you know, just, I don't, I don't know, but that's just the way it is nowadays, especially with feminism, but like, Everybody talking about it. Like, oh, this is this, that is that, blah blah blah. Like, I think that's um that is something uh, I enjoy about the taxi rides because you know all the taxi drivers are you now from this from the United States. So if they know, if they know about what I'm talking about, so they talk, and I'm not, and I let them talk. I want to learn. But a lot of times they go like, I have no idea. You know, like I say, the national debt. You know, the na how the national debt now is like, you know, like oh. You know, I tell them, and, and, they, and they go like, oh my god, it's like, you know, oh my god, that's not even it. <clears throat> you know, people, they don't even know how much is, uh, uh, yeah, I better wait. 
That's a lot of work. That's just a lot, a lot of work. You know, don't, don't, um, don't, we don't have an idea of how much money that is. <coughs> Smart drivers. That's good. I seen it. <coughs> I've seen people like, you know, <clears throat> but even by my house, by my house, they keep them, they keep them tied up. You have to have the line keep coming and coming. And I'll wait till they pass by. Look at the gentleman, he came prepare. You know, those are very warm, you know that. They got the gear for jogging. But, um, oh, you see the crackers are like naked. I mean, it's like it never. I've been here since '92 in New York City, and even in Chicago, even on Lecture Drive, minus whatever something degrees, and, and still. Like booty shorts, a t shirt, or whatever. Still keep coming. There's only like, how many elevators? Or how do they go up? I guess I take the staircase. Is this is an old building. I don't know how they all, I don't know how, how they all go. Look at that, they're still across the street. Okay, now I think I can. Alright, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go like as if anybody watching, right? <laughs> I was talking to myself later.